sorry. It's called, it's called the cloud forest for a reason. So we're right on the border to, well, yeah, right where the Amazon rainforest starts and just Machu Picchu's down there somewhere. <laughs> I'm in the middle of climbing up um, the Montania, which is the Machu Picchu mountain. So Machu Picchu is surrounded by sort of two prominent mountains. There's this one, Machu Picchu, Montania, and then there's um, Juane, Juane Picchu. I really suck at pronouncing Spanish. <laughs> Juane Picchu. Um, but so basically, it's kind of a neat uh, geological site to where Machu Picchu is situated because Machu Picchu itself is in a down block or grab in between these two large faults. So we have these large two mountains on each side of Machu Picchu, and Machu Picchu itself is in this grab in. The way that the Incas built their buildings was to sustain a lot of the seismic activity. So it, yeah, it's kind of a neat uh, geological underside to where Machu Picchu is situated at the moment. Most of Machu Picchu and the surrounding mountains are composed of granite, so it's this igneous coarse grain magmatic rock, which they used to build most of the buildings in Machu Picchu. Outside of Machu Picchu, there are plenty of other Inca ruins in Peru that are well worth a visit. Mori is the site of experimental agricultural Inca terraces. So these circular depressions are a form of sinkhole depression and they form from dissolving of the underlying soluble bedrock. This rat flew over there here and running when you're over 2,000 years. It's really hard to catch your breath, so I've been out of breath for like several minutes now. The Salaminis, or salt mines, are hundreds of salty pools that get evaporated and they harvest the salt. So I'm here in Pacha, Caramaca. Okay, so this is the, the mudstone, so it's just a rock with really fine grained mud. And these are really what the Incas used as a bricks for the foundation for Mud City, which is pretty cool. Now my friend from Peru, Billy, is going to explain what I just said better than in Spanish. Okay. This is a huaca. Roca Lutita, mudstone. I'm here at the top of the Sacred Valley. It's kind of this metamorphic rock, but most of the, the bricks that they use for story is actually granite from the hill nearby. It's really amazing, uh, it's amazing feat of engineering for a civilization that is gone 